voice is audible and uh, the screen is visible right yeah so first let's see the uh, example of uh, packed arrays uh, 1d packed arrays so here i have taken a module called example and uh, bit 7 down to 0 data okay so this is a 1d packed array it is also similar to a vector so this is basically a 1d packed array okay and it is also similar to also similar to uh, a vector in Verilog right so this is a uh, 1d packed array or a vector so within an initial beginning block simply what I have done is uh, data is equal to 8 tick binary 110 triple 1 1 I have just assigned my value to the uh, array packed array so data is equal to 110 and I am just simply printing the array so for printing the uh, array this is the format you will use for printing the array for int i is equal to 0 i less than dollar size of data so this dollar size of data basically this will return the size of the data okay so this i this variable will start counting from 0 to uh, dollar size of data that is uh, in this case it is 8 so i will start iteration from 0 to 8 sorry 0 to 7 uh, less than 8 right i plus plus so it will display everything so dollar display data of percentage d is equal to percentage b okay comma i so i will be substituted in the place of percentage d and uh, data will be substituted in the place of percentage b so this is how we are going to print a array is it clear 1d packed array is it clear how to print a 1D packed array is it clear? Let me comment everything. Hello? Have you got the idea how to print a 1D packed array? If you are having any doubt, you can ask. I hope it is clear. Now let us uh, compile this example module and let us simulate it. So basically by right clicking on this and selecting the compile selected option. Yeah, it is successfully compiled. So I am simulating just this example uh, module. Okay, so I will click on the simulate button and start simulation. In the work, uh, there is example module. So I will select that. And yeah. after opening this window, we can find a button called run all. So after selecting that, yeah, in the console, we can see, let me open this console module. Yeah. In the console, we can see data of 0 is equal to double one zero triple one zero one. Data of 1 is equal to double one zero triple one zero one. Like this, we are getting the data. Here we can see in the code. Let me open this. I think... Uh, Yeah, this one. Yeah. So this is getting printed. So data of zero. So the zero, uh, it will be printing and data of one will be printing like this. Uh, wait a minute. It should be data of I. Okay, small mistake here. Let me print it again. So we'll end the simulation. And let me recompile it again. Yeah, compilation successful. And now let me simulate it again. Start simulation. 
work example module and let me run this yeah previously uh, i've been printing the entire uh, array so now uh, see in the previous case i, I was printing entire array Okay. We, uh, in this case, I should only print the single digit that is data of 0 that is equal to 1. Uh, first index value contain, contains 0, second index contains 1, third index contains 1, fourth index contains 1 like this. I am printing the array slice, slice by slice, bit by bit. Okay. If you want to print entire array, just you can simply write data in the display statement. I will show that how to print the entire array. So instead of uh, writing here data of i like this, so what you can do is instead of this for loop everything, uh, if you want to print a entire array, you can simply write the display statement dollar display the array value is percentage d or it is in binary rate percentage b comma data. That's it. So the entire array will be displayed. Okay. So this is how we will display the array bit by bit or the entire array itself. So is it clear? The example of 1D packed array, is it clear? Can we move forward? So let me comment this. And let me uncomment this next example. So let's see this next example. So coming to the second example, which uh, deals about the multidimensional packed arrays. Okay. So in the case of multidimensional packed arrays, uh, this is the example of 2D packed array. Okay. So I have declared the 2D packed array. The syntax of packed array, observe here. So the dimensions is uh, declared before the array name. So it indicates a, it is a packed array. And there are two dimensions. So it is a 2D packed array. Right. So the first dimension size is 4 bit and second dimension size is 8 bit. So total it is 32 bit data. Okay. So the total size of this array is that is the total number of bits this array can store is 32 bits. Okay. So first dimension is uh, 4 bits and second dimension is 8 bits. So within an initial begin block what I am doing is uh, I am assigning the value uh, h sorry double f e f underscore double f e f to my data. So I'm representing this in hexadecimal format. Okay. So this is represented in hexadecimal format. This H represents it's an hexadecimal format. Okay. I hope you are aware of uh, what is meant by hexadecimal format. Yeah. So I'm converting this, uh, I'm representing this number in hexadecimal format I'm, and I'm storing it into my array. And I'm simply displaying the array full value. Okay, so this is how we will display the array value, entire array value. So this is used for displaying the entire array value. Okay, uh, I have shown I have shown in the previous example right how to display an entire array. So this this syntax using the dollar dollar display the value of data is percentage h. So I am displaying the array value in hexadecimal format so it is displayed in hexadecimal format okay and comma data now if i want to display array uh, bit by bit that is i want to show uh, display it uh, with the help of indexes so what i can do i can use a for do so for int is i is equal to 0 so i will start at uh, initial the initial value of i will be equal to 0 and it will iterate uh, up to the size of the data that is here in this case 32 so it will i value will start from 0 to 31 and it will display all the values of our uh, indexes okay so let's see this uh, with the help of simulation so it will be more clear compile selected
yeah here we can see first display statement is displaying the value of the data that is the array full array value it is displaying that is double f e double f, triple f e f in hexadecimal format okay so there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total 32 bits so let me uh, display it in uh, binary format so it will be easy to understand what is happening instead of hexadecimal format let me change it into uh, binary format okay so how to change it to binary format simply change from h to b percentage b and let me compile it again Let me simulate it. Example 2. Let me run it. Yeah, it will be more clear. Right? So, this is the value of array, uh, which this is the value which I have stored in the array called data. Now, here you can see. Uh, this array is of two dimensional, right? Uh, that is, uh, first dimension is of uh, four bit. Uh, first dimension is uh, three down to zero. That is a total four sections, and each section consists of eight bits. Okay, so this is the first section. That is, data of zero is the first section, and data of one is the second section. Two is the third, and three is the fourth section. So the first section contains eight bits in total. So these are the eight bits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the uh, eight bits which the first section is containing. And from here to next eight bits, the sec the second section is containing. And next third bits, the third section is containing. And next final uh, eight bits, the fourth section is containing. So this is how we are going to represent a two D array. Okay. So a two D array will contains of two dimensions. One dimension uh, represents the number of groups and another dimension will uh, represent how many bits are there in particular group. Okay, So this is how uh, we will store any data into our packed array, 2D packed array and uh, display the value of 2D packed array. So is it clear? Are you having any doubts or queries? Can we move forward? I hope it is clear. Now, let me take one more example of this uh, packed array, which is 3D packed array. Now, in this case, it is 3D packed array. So, in case of 3D packed array, I will have three dimensions. Okay. So, here I will have three dimensions in total. So 2 down to 0, 3 down to 0, 7 down to 0, okay. So in this 3D packed array, uh, so 2 down to 0 is 3 uh, plus uh, 3 down to 0, 4. So 7, sorry, 3 into uh, 4, that is uh, 12 into 8, which is equal to 96. So total 96 bits will uh, stored in this uh, particular packed array. Okay, so this is how we can represent this and uh, instead of uh, discussing it theoretically, let's see practical, uh, let's see the compiler output. So it will be more clear to understand how this look like when we print it. So first I'm um, printing it the entire value of the array. Um, wait a minute. Yeah, here in this case, I'm printing the entire array value. I will write it here. Array value. I'm printing it here. Uh, let me uh, print it in binary only. Now, uh, each index value I am printing in this two cases. I am using a for each loop. Instead of for loop, I am using a for each loop. In, uh, we have also discussed about for each loop in our theory sessions. So, if you haven't watched that, please watch in our previous sessions. So, with the help of for each loop, I am displaying uh, the, the first dimension value and using another for each loop in this for each loop, I am trying to display the second and third dimensions okay so let me compile this and uh, show you the output how we are getting it
यहाँ कंपाइलेशन इज सक्सेसफुल इट मे सिमुलेटेड सो इन द वर्क एग्जाम्पल अंडर स्कोर थ्री अगेन स्टार्ट एग्जाम्पल अंडर स्कोर थ्री So let us see the output. So this is the entire array, ninety-six bits. So in this ninety-six bits is again divided into ah uh, three portions. Okay, three dimensions, right? Three portions. Okay. Ah, uh, so this is first portion, and this is second portion, and this is third portion. And again, in this first portion, it is again divided into four sections you can see here 3 2 1 0 okay that is each portion is of eight bits of length okay and again this first uh, this second portion is also divided into four sections and each section will contains uh, eight bits okay like this the entire packed array is uh, uh, is storing the bits in a contiguous memory locations okay so this is the example of 3d packed array i hope uh, the examples of this packed array is clear and i hope it is giving you a brief idea about uh, how the data is being stored in this packed array so yeah so let us wind up this uh, discussion here and i hope it is uh, clear about this packed array so in next session we will see uh, how we are going to create dynamic arrays and what are all the built in functions which are present in this dynamic arrays so a small assignment for you all is uh, try coding the unpacked arrays uh, try creating some examples for this 1d unpacked array 2d unpacked array and 3d unpacked array and try displaying the values of this unpacked arrays okay so in next session we will discuss about uh, dynamic arrays with the help of this coding okay so that's all for this session thank you so if you are having any doubts or queries you can stay and ask or else we can end the session thank you